Hey everyone, welcome back to Tragic MTG. And today I've got another masterpiece hunt. Got a 12 pack of packs that could have a masterpiece in them. Either an expedition or a invention or whatever the Yu-Gi-Oh looking one that's in the Amiket packs. Here we go. Before that, check out this link here where on my last one of these I had an amazing huge hit. Um, go check it out right now, then come back here, and hopefully I do just as good. The, the, the odds are not in my favor, but I'm opening these up out of basically six boxes, so I got lucky in the Battle for Zendikar box last time. Hopefully there's something else in one of these others. Anyway, here we go. Let's start with this pack of Kaladesh, and uh, as usual, I'll scan up the rare as I go along, and try not to spoil if I did potentially get something good at the end like I did in the last time. So we're going to skip through most of the commons here. Fairgrounds Warden, Harsh Scrutiny, Gear Up Per Guide, Ooh, got a Mythic Planeswalker, Dovin Bond for four. Dovin Planeswalker comes in with three loyalty. Let's see, you can plus one of them for until end of next turn, up to one target creature gets minus three and minus zero. And its activated abilities can't be activated. You can minus one them to gain two life and draw a card. For your minus seven, you can get an emblem with your opponents. Can't untap more than two permanents during their untap steps. Very nice. And no bonus lottery card. That's okay. It's pretty rare. Let's, real quick, set up my scanner. Hold on. There it is. Okay, so now we can scan up Dovin right here and see he's worth a buck. There we go. We're off to a good start here. So, next pack of Kaladesh. All of these are now back into style um, with Pioneer. So, some of the cards, the key cards, are coming back up in price. Or they kind of already have, to be honest. Anyway, Harsh Scrutiny. Snare Thopter, Aether Meltdown, let me get in frame here, and a Girapur Orrery, artifact for four. Each player may play an additional land on each of his or her turns at the beginning of each player's upkeep. If that player has no cards in hand, that player draws three cards. It's not a big one. Island, and a nothing. All right. Aether Revolt. Ooh. Hope you're enjoying your day. Make sure to like and subscribe and all that good YouTube stuff. Here we go. Aeronaut Admiral, Untethered Express. I think I got a foil. Gotta be careful. Servo Schematic. Yaheni, Undying Partisan for three. He's a 2 2 Aetherborn Vampire, legendary. Got haste. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, put a one counter on Yeheni. Sacrifice another creature. Yeheni gains indestructible until end of turn. Seems solid. It only if you had flying, right? Something like that. We've got a foil consulate turret. Three twenty-five for Yeheni. That's not bad. We'll put him over here. Consulate turret. Very nice foil. And that's it. So put that over there. And this and that. And there we go. Ether revolt. Pack number two. In the dust. Defiant Salvager. Negate. Dead Eye Harpooner. Ornithopter. Vengeful Rebel. And a free free jam regent for six. It's a four-four dragon with improvise. It has flying, and you pay one and a red to give it plus two till the end of the turn. And a gremlin, and let's see, not a big one there. So, there we go. Battle for Zendikar. So, I already got the big expedition out of this box. I cannot imagine there would be another one. Kind of spreading my luck. There would have been, a, you know, in the six boxes that I have of these, there's pretty high chance that there would have been no expeditions basically 
um, or well, sorry, inventions or whatever they're called, masterpieces. So, um, just trying my luck, gambling as usual. Got a Tajuru War Caller, Herald of Kozilek, Tide Drifter. Whoops, well, skipped right by the Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger. Don't want to do that. And got a Foil Nissa's Renewal. Very nice. So Ulamog for 10. He's a 10-10 Legendary Eldrazi. When you cast Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger, exile two target permanents. He's indestructible. Whenever Ulamog attacks, defending player exiles the top 20 cards of his or her library. If you get this thing out, it's pretty much over. And he is pretty... Pretty good. 34 bucks for Ulamog. I'm going to put him right there. Excellent. So in a foil, Nissa's Renewal. Foil rare. Very nice. So for six, you can search your library for up to three basic land cards. And then you gain some life. As a non-foil, it's only 46 cents. As a foil, it is a dollar. Put it in the dollar pile. There it is. Okay. So far, so good. Another battle for Zendikar pack. The Scions. The Boiling Earth. I think I got another foil on this. I gotta like really be careful not to spoil it. Expedition Envoy. Psy Leopard. Molten Nursery. Ruinous Path. It's a uh, sorcery for three. Destroy target creature or planeswalker. You can awaken four, and that costs a bunch, and you can do some stuff with it. I'm not even going to read it. Got a Rolling Thunder. I'm going to guess it's not a big one. Foil Rolling Thunder. Um, I don't think it's anything. Swamp and a plant token. Okay. Oath of the Gate Watch. Dazzling Reflection, Natural State, some commons, some stuff, got a Membrane, Grip of the Royal, Reckless Bushwhacker, Void Grafter, and an Oath of Nyssa. I'm going to actually check this Bushwhacker. I think it might be something. Oath of Nyssa, uh, Legendary Enchantment for one green. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal a creature, land, or planeswalker card from among them. Put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. You may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast Planeswalker spells. I believe this is a pretty good card. Whoops. And... Book 59. That's okay. And a Reckless Bushwhacker. Not bad for an uncommon. I'm going to pull it here. Another Oath Pack. I'm going to get a little quicker. I know. Everyone's like, nobody wants to look at the commons. Fine, I do. Birthing Hulk, Relief Captain, Mind Melter, and Drawn is Chosen. Vampire Shaman Ally, ally 2-2 two, two for 4. It's got Cohort. You can tap an untapped ally. You control it. Put a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature. Token onto the battlefield tapped. 30 cents. There we go. Ammon Ket. Invocations. That's what the ones out of these are called. I call them lottery cards or masterpieces. You can call them whatever you want. Sacred Excavation. Seraph of the Suns. Gale Strike. Honored Hydra. For six, it's a six-six snake hydra. S -s -s -s. It's got trample, and you can embalm it, which you exile it from your graveyard and create a token. Yada yada. Yada yada. It's thirty-six cents, and a zombie token. All right. Next pack. Seeker of Insight. Nice cat. Vitalist. Got a Sensor, which I think is an okay uncommon, or at least it was when it was in standard. Deemworthy. Reduce. 
pull from tomorrow for X and two blue. Instant draw X cards and discard a card. Buck 54. And then the sensor is not going to scan. And it's really not worth much. So there we go. Our devastation. Last chance for these. The unquenchable thirst. Manticore Eternal. Unraveling Mummy. Tenacious Hunter. Swarm Intelligence for 7. It's an enchantment whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell. You may copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. That's great if you can get 7 mana out, right? 64 cents. Planes and a zombie and nothing else. Last pack, and we'll be down here. Again, comment down below. Like and subscribe. Watch my other videos. Yada, yada, yada. Naga, Camel, Prowler, Abomination, Merciless Eternal, Tenacious Hunter, If Near Deadlands, and Imminent Doom. Enchantment for three. Imminent Doom enters the battlefield with a Doom counter on it. Whenever you cast a spell with converted mana cost equal to the number of Doom counters on Imminent Doom, Imminent Doom deals that much damage to target creature or player, then put a Doom counter on Imminent Doom. You got all that? There it is. 30 cents for all that. So, there you go. 12 packs. Got one great card. And nothing super bonus extra lottery special. It's okay. Already got one. Maybe I'll get another one sometime. Check back later. Tragic MTG out.